Good morning, people of God. It's your Dean speaking to you this morning. I wanted to show you where I pray in the morning. Uh, this is St. Francis with the animals. This is Jesus. I have a little image of Mary and the baby, holding the baby over here. So this is where I say my prayers in the morning. I wanted to pray with you this morning because I know many of you are going through a time of great isolation and perhaps some fear. I don't want you to be afraid. Remember the Bible says, don't be afraid. 365 times, that's one time for every day of the year. Perfect, huh? I want to remind you also of um, Julian of Norwich, um, who was an anchoress, which meant she lived in one room off of a church. And in that one room, she prayed her entire life. Now, she lived during the time of the Black Plague. So uh, talk about death and um, people just dropping like flies and they had very little understanding of why, which made it even scarier. And yet, uh, she believed that all things would be well, that Christ would bring us all home and that God adored us. So she never lost faith in that. So let's say a prayer this morning for this world, um, for this time that we have of isolation, um, and for uh, that we might be brought closer to God in this time. The Lord be with you. Almighty God, we ask your blessing on all those who are alone this day. We ask your blessing on all who are sick, suffering, or in pain, all those who are caring for them as well. We ask that you would guide us in this time to be both careful but non-anxious. We ask that you would use this time as a time in which we might grow cl draw closer to you. We thank you for the gift of community. Even when we are separated, we know that we are together in our hearts. Bless this world, O oh Lord, and help it to be restored. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful day.